you can add Jack Grealish to this squad now, and it's a great time to do it because you're going to be busy next year in the Champions League. You're going to be trying to win the League Cup because you want to get a trophy. You're going to be trying to win the FA Cup because you're trying to get a trophy. And you absolutely, 100%, have to be at it every week in the Premier League because Liverpool and Man City are going to be at it. Do you, if you're a top club, Jared, going for Champions League, you want to win trophies, is Jack Grealish the type of personality you want in your dressing room? Um, yes, 100%. I don't know. A 24-year-old well, 24, 24 captain who's put a, a shambolic team on his back and carried them. So he likes to party a little bit. But I mean, what 24-year-old doesn't <laughs> like to party? Jer, um, I, I, to be honest with you, I know he's a captain. Personally, I think he, he should have been stripped of that captaincy when he, when he had that crash during the lockdown. Um, he's been charged with that since. He's going to be in court on the 25th of August, um, charged with uh, leaving the scene of an accident and uh, driving without you caring attention. So, uh, you know... I this just, has not I been an issue for Manchester United in the past, though. Like, it, it just, they, you know, if you're, if like, you're a footballer, okay, they don't care yeah. about that. Like who? Well, se several of their, of their players have had issues with, um, with speeding, with drink driving yeah. in, in the past. You know, there's, there's a lot of players that could be Steve Owen. Let's not name names. Okay, you know, absolutely. Listen, um, and I, when I thought about, I'm thinking about Alex Ferguson when he's in charge of Manchester United because that's where Solskjaer has learned his uh, his managerial or where he cut his managerial teeth, working under the greatest manager of all time, arguably. Um, and I'm thinking, what kind of players were ill-disciplined in that United squad under Ferguson? You know, I suppose people used to talk about Canton how he was a how he was a, an awkward character in the dressing room. And Roy Keane Ferguson being maybe. bailed out from the cells a couple of times. Yeah, absolutely. But um, does does Solskjaer have that same kind of control? And in fairness to to Ferguson, he did clear out a lot of players who were kind of you know badly badly behaved around the early nineties, as we all know, the likes of um, Norman Whiteside, Paul McGraw, all these kind of players who were all moved on. And listen, look, Jack Reed is a really good player. Okay, there's no doubt he's a very creative player. You know, looking at his, at his, at his abilities on the field. I did a match a couple of weeks ago, four off the ball, Aston Villa playing against Chelsea. And I, I was watching Grealish during that game. And I'm kind of thinking, this fella doesn't look to me like a captain of a team or battling against relegation. He just doesn't look 100% committed. He wasn't getting back. He wasn't tracking back. He wasn't trying to help out with defence. It was all very weak, you know, lily livered looking kind of performance from Jack Grealish. And I just don't think that he's the kind of player that, you know, Manchester United, they want players who are committed week in, week out, who are doing their stuff every single week. You know, I just don't think Jack Ray is that kind of player. And, yeah, I just think, you know, the, the whole incident with Dean Smith coming back after the, the lockdown, he was asked about Grealish and the crash and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, he was like, oh, well, he made a mistake. And, you know, Jack feels bad. I feel bad for Jack and this kind of stuff. And I just think he's been mollycoddled at Aston Villa. And I just don't think his character is what is the kind of character that Manchester United need in their dressing room right now. So you think it's two things. It's character, but it's also footballing ability. You don't think that he would fit in that team. I, like, I've got to I've got to say, I think that you can play him in any of those um, five of the front six positions. He, he's not a nice striker, but you could literally put him in that team in any one of a constellation of different um, positions. Transform how your team plays from week to week, depending on where you deploy him, and all of a sudden you've got options for, um, you can play him alongside Pogba if you want, you can play him alongside Matic if you were on arrest Pogba, you can play him instead of Martial, you can play him instead of Rashford, you can essentially play him anywhere. And I think he does have that discipline in a team where they have some hope. Bear in mind that Villa have collapsed, their morale has completely collapsed, and they don't even have the fans anymore to, to feed off. Mm. Um, so, like, I've seen enough of them over the last two seasons to know, certainly like sticking with the club when they went down and then helping put them on his shoulders. Now, he wasn't alone when he was um, uh, coming up last season. But I actually think that, that that character would be there, especially when in training, there are other people doing even better than you are. Yeah, look, they, listen, there, there totally is that argument. If he's in a better team with better players, that perhaps he will shine better himself. And, you know, there's, there's a number of players you'd see like that, that in the Premier League. I, I love the likes of John Joe Shelby at Newcastle and the talent that he has. And you wonder if he had better players around and how good could he be as well. But, um, and listen, I think your, your argument is totally fair, Jer. You know, he's, he is a type of player that can play in a few positions. I remember him playing for the Irish under-21s, playing on the right-hand side of midfield, playing in the centre of midfield, 
we've seen with, with Bill Pena, as you say, on the left in the centre. Um, and they're, look, they're, they're totally as an argument for him to be at Manchester United, but is he willing to be a utility player that's got to be, you know, shifted around from position to position? Do United need him that badly? Like, you look at what they have there, the likes of Daniel James, Marcus Rashford, Martial, Mason Greenwood, who looks like one of the best strikers we've seen in a long, long time in England. And um, is there room for Jack Greenish in that team? And if not, is he willing to sit on the bench kicking his heels, waiting for his chance to come?